Yeah, so I, I look at uh, Arctic adaptation in the past, so I look at Norse Greenland, so the uh, commonly known as the Vikings, so whether, how the Norse went across the North Atlantic and expanded outwards from West Norway and uh, occupying the Faroe Islands, Northern Scotland, Iceland and uh, eventually North Greenland and North America for a short period of time. So North Greenland, uh, looking at that case study and looking at the, case, the 450 years between settlement in AD 985 and the uh, demise of North Greenland, possibly in around uh, 1450 AD, uh, we, we've got a full adaptive cycle within that. We've got this complete experiment, as it's been phrased in the literature before. Um, so we can, we can use various different data sets and combine different data sets, such as climate records, the archaeological record about human subsistence, and, uh, and understand what sort of challenges posed, were posed to the Norse, and also how, how this, this, this very much challenged the, um, the culture itself, so a culture based upon farming, in, this, in what other people refer to as a culturally blank landscape, though the Inuit, a nomadic culture, was based there, which requires moving around resource spaces. So I look at the, the complexity associated with utilising resource spaces over long periods of time and specifically social organisation within these settlements and how they changed and possibly modelling those and how, how, what can we understand from that in terms of future climate change based upon long term archaeological records. So that provides that could provide vital information about long term adaptive trends.